Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. And what a mild day. High temperatures today here in Waco topping out at 78 degrees. The record is 80, so awfully close to that. So we were uh, talking temperatures well above the average high of about 58 degrees. And even this evening, if you are headed out, skies will be mostly cloudy. I think the rain will hold off until maybe around midnight or so. And we're looking at temperatures in the 60s and 70s. 72 right now in Waco, 75 Temple. Kalina is still at 76 degrees at this hour. And you can see temperatures just as mild down toward the Brazos Valley. Brenham checks in right at 75 degrees. No fog out there. No fog expected. Our wind is strong enough to keep the atmosphere mixing. Plus, we've got a cold front on the way here that'll make sure those winds stay up just a little bit. So again, no fog problems in the forecast for tonight. And winds have been fairly light out of the south and southeast. But that's also transporting a lot of moisture up in to our area. There's the front on our satellite and radar front knocking on the door, moving through the Metroplex right now, kind of tailing just off to the east of the Abilene area, but that's all moving in our direction. So again, once that gets closer to us, our rain chances will go up, and I think that'll be starting sometime after midnight. Right now, pretty quiet conditions, a few sprinkles up toward Tyler, but that's all moving away, and again, that's very, very light. Take a look at our Future cast here at 7 o'clock tonight. There's the front out ahead of the front. Still very warm temperatures, upper 60s to lower 70s. There's the front moving through and again right along the front and behind the front. Some scattered showers will break out. There could be an isolated storm, but I really doubt that. And I think for the most part, there's no severe weather. We're not going to be looking at any rough weather tonight. And as we uh, go overnight, our rain chances will start to increase. You can kind of see the little wave of green kind of push down to the south there. That is that outflow boundary from the storms, or at least from the uh, cold front that it moves through the area. What that means is just kind of reinforcing shot of some cooler air on top of us. By 7 o'clock in the morning, again, widely scattered rain showers. Just keep the umbrella handy. Tomorrow, as we may see rain from time to time, not a complete washout. Not everybody will see it, but you are going to see the clouds and temperatures falling in the afternoon back down into the low to upper, uh, I'd say lower 50s, upper 40s here by five. Better chance of some rain with a little disturbance moving in, though, from the west. And you can see that we'll start to pick up some steam here uh, very late Thursday into Friday, it's going to be to our west. By Friday, here it comes, starting to move in our direction. So our rain chances go up to about 70% chance or so on Friday with some widely scattered showers. And again, we could have an isolated thunderstorm in there. Nothing severe at this time. But look at these temperatures on Friday. Upper 40s to lower 50s. That's what you call some cold rain moving our way. Tonight, though, mostly cloudy skies. Some widely scattered showers on the way. 54 degrees will be the low temperature, and then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, a 70% chance of scattered showers, 58 degrees. Take a look at Ray's Automotive seven-day forecast. Showers and a few thunderstorms possible on Friday. Quiet conditions for the weekend. That looks great. Yay, 54 on Sunday. And then next week, some rain possible, but temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s for highs, lows in the 30s, and kind of the same thing down toward Bryan and College Station. And again, off again rain. Good news here, Adam, the weekend looks fine and dandy, 50s and 60s, and next week we're going to be in the low 50s with, again, a slight chance of some rain there Monday and Wednesday.